Hey guys, I'm Ben and welcome back to my Sims 4 save file. So last time we toured the Oasis Springs Plaza and today we're touring the Beaker family. Just who are Cersei and Loki Beaker? Do they keep peoples captive for their experiments? Are the children clones? Does Nervous have a clone? Why did the Beakers kidnap a garbage man? Does Cersei have an unhealthy obsession with coat hangers? And most importantly, could you be cheating on Loki with a certain cow cult leader or two? Let's see. So this is the Gothic Revival Castle. This home was built to accommodate only the strangest of people. With an evil lab and a prison basement, this place could only be owned by someone who likes to torture people, including the rich people across the streets, inspired by one special court from The Sims 2. So this place was built as a pretty faithful recreation of the original from The Sims 2. And while we wait for this load, screen to finish i wanted to talk about like what i was thinking about who i wanted to add to the family because we have like like the beakers from the sims 2 and but we also have gimme bronco and the two kids that i want to add because the two kids are from the sims 3 into the future and then gimme is from the sims 2 for psp which connects directly back to Peter florica from the plaza I'm not appreciating how long this is going to load, but hopefully this will be done soon. I check out any of the weird mods that I had in the last part, because, I don't know, like, they weren't working, but it's, it should be fine now. So here it is, the iconic castle. Like, like it's funny to have, like, that, this is, like, a, this nice, nice, really big, kind of ugly house across the street but then you have like this just whole castle here you know but I, I don't know I find it funny and I really like that Nancy Landgrab's here because I can just use her to add more lore to the Sims 4. So here we have their kitchen and their archways here. The sucky thing about this house is that you have to have like a door here or something and because there's the front door it has to be here. So that's where I put it, since there's no real front door, you know? So first we have the living room. No one knows who's in this urn, but you'll have to find that out for yourself. Over here is their lab area. I put as many sciencey things as I could. We have a, like a workout machine, a game system, a microscope, and a cupcake machine. So once you start using like expansion packs and stuff, we're really going to be able to get into using like new things and like finally just updating everything so everything's correct. So here is Gimme and Nervous's room. They have this really creepy you know, like area here. I don't know why these things exist. I, I just don't know. Especially you. You're the scariest one of all. So yeah, there's all of these, these different clutter items that I wanted to add. And I wanted to put coat hangers everywhere because it's her thing. And then we can go upstairs and take a look at some of the other things. Here we have a nice little bathroom area. And then you go outside to see the patio, all the backyard. And then we have some ancestor graves over there. And then we can go upstairs and find this entryway. That's where the front door is. And then this is Cersei's bedroom. I wanted to add a bi flag because she is canonically bi in the game. And then we can go over here to their upstairs living room, you know? The family portrait and everything. That's just required to see though. Go in here, this bathroom, and then the kids' room is over here. Like here's their like whole family portraits and stuff, and it's very nice. Personally, I personally like it, and took a lot of work to do just to make the ancestors and just shove them in. <clears throat> so here's the kids' room, all nice and spacious and spacey. Here's a closet filled with endless coat hangers, and then we can go upstairs if we want to find another 
room, just coat hangers, and the giant telescope, which is actually really fitting for their house, that they would have a giant telescope, even though we should have smaller ones in the game, though. But, oh well. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the house itself. All that's really left is to really take a look at their relationships and story. Well, so first we have Cersei Beaker. She has, has this obsession, taxidermy and coat hangers, as we've seen. She's also an astronaut because we don't have the doctor in the game yet. I mean, it's like, if we get the pack, but I don't have the pack. This is all base game. You can use it, whatever you want. Here's your skills. Well, she is enemies and nervous, as she should be. And a very good relationship with Loki. And enemies with Gimme. She has romance with Betsy because, of course, Chris Betsy is literally making out with everyone. And then she's enemies with some people, friends with some people. But she has romance with Dominic and Ava. And negative with Pascal. I don't think that um, I have her relationship. Like, we have Abjit and Meredith from the Sims 2 as townies. Because why not? But I know that we also had his brother be an ex. Also, she's enemies with Eliza because of course she is. But yeah, I don't think I put that in. I'll probably put it in later on, but not now. And then, like, her family and stuff. Other than that, these are, like, her basic traits and all that. You know? I really hope that, like... like I think this is it. I, like, I hope that, like, my mods aren't messing anything up. But... It should be okay. Like here we have their family tree. Oh, okay, never mind. We're fine. Oh, it is messed up. Ew, ew, that's annoying. That is really annoying. I hate when that happens so much. Well, that's the Sims for you. It messes up your stupid family trees, and despite me putting hours of effort into trying to fix it, it's fine. Whatever, I don't care. I just don't understand why this always happens. It's just like, ugh, I don't know, I hate it. Other than that, like we have Miss Quality Assurance because no scientist career in the base game. But, you know, I mean, it isn't anything that we all hate The Sims for. And it's just nothing but drama and hate and pain in this entire series and, and in, as with a lot of other game series too, but. Whatever, it's fine. I mean, that's why I built the save file so we can have like something decent from this game, you know? I don't know. I mean, like, I watch other people like recreate strange town lots and stuff, and that's kind of fun. But I don't know. I don't like, I, I feel like I put a lot more unnecessary work into this. Like, I mean, it's definitely like I, like, I don't need to put in the ancestors and stuff, you know? Like, it's very, like, a hassle, and I understand why other people don't do it. They focus more on, like, making it, making it look good, because, I mean, that's what you do. You make, you focus on making things look good. But, I mean, other than that, like, I don't know. I'm kind of, like, more into just recreating the houses and then doing, like, all the ancestors and all the details as I can. But, yeah, we have him being a test subject. This is his, uh... His like job that was in his original store description. Then we have his relationship with everyone. Like he's he's close with Olive here just because he like she's the mom. But I I might like lower it later. Like he has a romance with Pascal because why not? And all obviously enemies with Cersei and Loki and no enough romance with Betsy because he doesn't like girls so. You know, I'm the same though. And then we have Gimme Bronco, enemies and Maya Malapin, because as again, she is a high class woman who really doesn't like the weird people in this town. And this is Loki and Cersei, of course, and Romance with Betsy and sister and Peter's her his sister. I think that he's actually like a lawnmower. Okay, so now we have the kids who are just like, like from The Sims, Sims Three. So we have like just the basic stuff, like, like they have their like regular traits and all that. 
and he really wanted to like just shove as much as he could to the sims just to have this good connecting lore and besides we need more kids in the town anyways because there's not really a lot but yeah that should be pretty much it so well, that was it for the beaker household for the most part like you'll have to like play it find out more for yourself but next time we will be going and checking out the land grab household right across the street so thanks for watching and see you next time